So, Barrel Kateer has arrived. You can find him on the Strata Relay on Earth. Now, you know the routine, what I usually do. As soon as I come into the Relay, I go over here to the Ducas to dump, dump my, how you want to call it, junk. Junk prime parts. Do I even have junk to like, get rid of, per se? Let me see these spirit pouches. I could keep, these things keep dropping for some reason. So I'm just getting rid of like at least four of these. Um, what else? What else? Ask the little no. Act Bronco. Prime link. These are actually pulling like at least forty five a piece. So I could keep farming those. Seven of these because those keep dropping as well. Let's see here. Keep scrolling by. These cassava bands will come in handy to go along with the collar blueprint. Not touching Odonata stuff along with Volt because we all know Volt is going to be leaving along with Odonata. So we're not going to touch that. Exclude that. See? All of these. Exclude that. The blueprint for the Odonata. Exclude that as well. Trinity. I could get rid of like at least four of her helmets because I could keep getting those. That's that's no issue. Let me get rid of a boar receiver. Uh, let me see. Brayton. Brayton Brown stock. Carrier stuff. As you can see, I got a good plentiful of. I could just get rid of two of these so I could even out with the systems and the blueprint. Still need more uh, cerebrums. Some of you already know. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I believe. Oh no! Hold on. Let me see. Necros. Get rid of some necros. Get that out the way. Orthos. I ain't gonna touch that. I still need more blades than anything else. Trinity systems. I could get rid of a number of these. Probably like at least ten of those. Cause the systems keep dropping all over the place. Uh, Vasto. Vasto receiver. I could get rid of some of those just a bit. All right. So I see I have a number of Ducats as it is, but I just want to sell some of these. So now I got 9,620. And now people are just pouring in right now, as you can see, because they also got the message. So let's go and check this bad boy out. Now, as you can see, he has hmm, brought back this. And since I see Fang Fuselade there, he also brought back the Slash set and also Prime Regen. The new stuff. He actually brought something new with him this time. Prime Regen. And he also brought the Katia Sergata. Now the Prime Regen, as you can see, based on the description, if killed, regenerates three times with 100% max health and is invulnerable for 11 seconds. Is it worth it? It depends on who you ask. I'm picking it up because it's new. It's what he's carrying this time around. Because the last time he was here, he didn't have this. So I'm going to get me a number of these. Because as you see I have a number of do cuts. And whatnot. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of these. Because you know how people in the trade. Some of them cannot afford this. So I'm going to stack up on this. So that whoever. Wants it and whatnot, They could contact me. Or if I put it in the chat. They'll hit me up. Be like yo you got prime regen. How much you want for it and all that stuff. I'll put down my price for it. Because again it's a sentinel. But also at the same time, it's like, eh. As you can see, there goes the Sergata for it as well. So I'm just going to purchase this. Get that out the way. As you can see, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep getting this. I'm going to you know, stack up on Prime Regen. Now for this now, uh, Sleep Inspiration, Buzzkill, Mame. I'm going to go for the Sleep Inspiration because people have been asking for this more than anything else. At the same time, buzz kill. I'm gonna get myself a buzz kill. I'm gonna get maimed just because, and I'm gonna get fang fuse slate. So now I have at least a, a slash set on me, and I could I could just keep stacking up on this. Get another slash set to boot. Get another serration. Get another buzz kill. And get another fang fuse slate. So now I have that. I could go for more, but I'd rather stack up on the prime regen and stuff. Get like at least, let me see, let me get one more so I could have at least 10. 
10 of those and why not go for another another slash set why not because i could sell it like legit easy once he leaves i could sell it like legit like 275 just for the set alone so i could have like a like a good plentiful of sets but if i want to sell a mod individually i could do that as well so i'm just gonna go and knock this out get this out the way and that's pretty much it as far as with all the stuff that he actually has. I stacked up on Prime Regen, got the Gatir Sagata, a number of Slash sets, and he also has this and whatnot. But the thing about this with these is that he already had these when he came last time. And again, Goose Track 3 Beacon, Stalker Beacon, Zanuka Beacon, complete waste. You could attract these dudes so easily. It's not even worth the trouble. So other than that, I pretty much stacked up what I need to stack up. But as far as with the Prime Regen, it pretty much comes down to preference. People say it's good when you go into late game. Just try not to get hit. Be a pro, not suck. Some people say, eh, forget about it. Me, I'm just getting it because it's new. I could put it on my cell if I want to, or I could take it off. It depends. So it all comes down to preference as far as with Prime Regen. Is it worth it? You can let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think on Prime Regen. But as of now, yes, Prime Regen is out on console, PS4, and Xbox alike.